Good morning, this is Phil McPhail. Let's take a video tour of a newer listing that we have in Dexter, Maine on Eaton Road. This is 105 plus or minus acres of land with eight to 10 acres of field, interior roads, some timber, fronts up public road with electricity at the street. There's a small cabin on the property. This is a great property for recreation or come set up your homestead here. This is a 10, roughly 10 acre field here in the town of Dexter on this 110 acre property. And you'll see from the map that the uh, fields themselves are, are not square, they're not round. They'd be ideal for food plots, uh, for hunting over for deer, because you've got separate sections of the field that are separated from others. Give those larger bucks maybe a little sense of comfort hiding out in the corners of these fields. Or hey, if you're not a hunter, this is a nice piece of land. You could farm it. You could have some livestock here. Beautiful piece of field, level ground, not hard, not shouldn't be any um, erosion issues here at all. Really nice piece of property. And again, this is where we're located right now. The blue dot here on this large section of field and if we look out through the windshield, you can see what this field looks like. It's freshly mowed hay field. Very nice level ground. Doesn't appear to be rocky. A lot of this forest land here is similar soil, but I think it's a little rockier. You could farm it, but you'd have to, you'd have to do a lot of work to clear the rocks. Moving from the center of the fields here towards the, the far west side of the property, you can see there's been some timber harvesting in here. We're going to look at that a little more depth here in a minute, but uh, the, the harvest was done in strips. And they left a lot of trees in between those harvested strips, so I think the goal here is to develop an uneven aged forest that uh, will be a thriving forest in the future, and, and the trees that they left seem to be standing up pretty well, even though we've had some pretty intense winds. And this would be about the largest section of the field right here on the west end. And you can see that on the map, at the bottom of the, of the video. And right here, we're standing on the edge of the larger field that we saw inside the truck and on the map. And there's the field behind, behind us here looking kind of northerly. And then on this side, this is where the harvest was done. You can see trails through here, and then you'll see bunches of strips of wood left. Um, that wood in here is a little mixture of everything. We got some hemlocks, we have some spruce fir, we've got poplars, maples, some ash in here, a little bit of everything, some cedar, occasional white pine. Nice mix of forest land um, that hasn't been clear cut. I know a lot of people think that, you know, if you cut your land, the trees never grow back, but folks, it, they do. And in Maine, the soils are so good that they grow back quickly. This trail right here in five to 10 years will be completely stocked with new trees and uh, it'll be the next generation. And then another 10 or 15 years after that, the landowner would probably want to come back and harvest these trees that have been left and make another clearing there for the next crop of trees. One of the benefits of actively managing your forest land is you're often left with good quality road access when the operation is done. This is one of a couple of new roads built on the property that make accessing the more remote areas of the property easier. The following aerial photo was taken pre-harvest and does not show these roads. I did a GPS tracing of the roads and it's shown on the photo outlined in yellow. The timber harvest left a lot of clean trails for walking, for hunting, and for the next generation of trees to grow in. Clean up and grade off these log yards and you'll have a nice spot to build a home or a cabin. A 
few hundred feet in from Eaton Road, you'll find a rustic cabin. This would make a great hunting camp um, or a good place to keep you out of the weather while you build your new home or, or new hunting camp. This is the road that accesses the property from the town maintained section of the road behind me. Just a few miles from the property is Lake Wasakeg, and it's got a public boat launch there. This lake is over a thousand acres and has good fishing for lake trout and smallmouth bass. The public beach here is a great place to go swimming. The town of Dexter is located about 37 miles northwest of Bangor, Maine. It was founded in 1816 when Maine was still part of Massachusetts. The town currently has a population just under 4,000. No matter if you're coming here just to recreate or looking for a new place to live, Dexter is a great place to do it. Let us know if you need more information about this property in Dexter, Maine. You can reach us at 800-286-6164. And please, if you like our videos, like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get all notifications of new videos.